from my background as a maker and a designer and a sculptor, I'm very interested in process and how things are made and in particular, you know, using moulds to create objects. So this, this became a, um, a real fascination for me. I like to uh, sort of introduce a bit of entropy into the system and to try to uncover something that's unexpected unexpected for me and, and hopefully also for the audience. It's a way for me to keep the work very fresh and to sustain my own interest. One of the reasons I loved this is because, again, he was taking materials that we don't normally think of as for works of art, like coal and tar and resin, and transforming them into objects of beauty. And I think also for me what was of great interest was the fact that there's this blurring of the line between what is sculpture, what is design, and what is art? What is art? I wanted to work with the human form, but it was important for me to choose the right material, a material that was pertinent to the concept. So I started thinking about carbon, which is the fundamental building block of um, all life in the universe. So then I started looking at coal as one of the purest forms of carbon um, on the planet. Seeing the coal itself, um, I suddenly realized that within that form, the combination of the material with, you know, applying it to a human figure, it suggested a presence, a simultaneous presence and absence. So I realized that it actually it's much more interesting just to let the material speak for itself. Casting into the mold is, is almost like recalling a memory. It's recalling the memory of the presence of the model when they were cast. And it's reiterated several times. And um, these figures are in different states of decomposition, which you know, can symbolize many different things. The fading of a memory or, you know, the, the loss of somebody or perhaps the rebuilding of something. You can make your mark on something but not be there. So you were present and now you're absent. We have loved ones that we lose and yet their presence can be with us all the time. When we cast the first head out of coal um, and it was taken out of the mold, um, I had a really kind of, a really visceral um, reaction to it and it, I, it, it really kind of affected me. I was, felt a bit choked by it. Maybe something, something very elemental uh, about the material. Just for me personally, looking at the pieces, I, I, I feel quite emotional. To be able to have such exciting new work is, it's a thrilling, uh, it's a thrilling part of my job and it's a thrill, I hope it's a thrilling part of coming to the museum and seeing new work that's experimental, is unexpected, and yet has a really strong emotional content.